All right, good morning. It's Tuesday, and I have to head to the office. It's about 9, well, 10 o'clock. And uh, let's see, I've got my destination in there. Uh, what you'll notice, though, is I have a full tank of fuel still after a day, and then I've got the uh, battery there, which is at empty, basically. But I've been averaging 28.4 MPGs. So what I want to do here is go into the trip computer and what I want to show you is something really cool. I want to show you uh, mile, gallons per hour. There we go. So now we're going to burn gallons per hour and then we're going to go over to here and we're going to put it in charge mode. And now, if I go back to the home screen, we'll get, we're going to see uh, it's charging the vehicle. <clears throat> and we'll see right there I'm burning 1.6 gallons per hour. My whole theory here is on the window sticker, there's an EPA number. That EPA number is basically the uh, MPG equivalent. So on this window sticker, because it's a 2020 and this is a pre-production, um, there is no number. But the way the EPA does it is they, they basically equate MPGE here to a gallon of gasoline being burned. And the whole thing is like a gallon of gas is 133 kilowatt hours. So my theory is this is a just under 12 kilowatt hour battery pack. It should take about a quarter gallon of gas to fully charge. And of course, you know, you could charge this overnight, but I do not have a way to charge it overnight. I have carports and such. So what we're gonna do is, is just see how much we can charge it today and exclusively on gasoline in the charge mode and I'm not sure if it defaults to charge mode or whatever uh, I know it stays here in um, hybrid mode but today we're going to go into power mode and when I do that notice what happens here I don't know if you can see it will go like that ready the vehicle lowers so now we're in a lower sportier mode the vehicle is being charged by the gas engine and we are on our way so we're going to put this in reverse Remember, any more than twice, you're playing with it. And, uh, yeah, let's go to work. This should be fun. Well, my logic here is that the charge controller is only 3.5 kilowatt hours, so no matter what level 2 charger you put it at, you're only going to charge it 3.5 kilowatt hours max, which means that in my area, it's 6 cents a kilowatt hour. So, 3 times 6, you'd be at 18 cents, and... It would give you one third of the battery capacity, or actually one quarter, let's just say. So, three kilowatt hours over 12, four times three is 12. Well, if I burn a quarter gallon of fuel, it should give me, out of 133,000 kilowatt hours, it should give me a full charge at least. But I don't think it's going to work out that way. And this is the whole deceptive thing I don't like about MPGE from the EPA, which was a standard they put in place before the Nissan Leaf came out. And what I want to talk about is... Uh, <clears throat> if we drive today for like an hour, where you've got gallons, uh, gallons per hour showing when we're at a stop... But I want to see if we burn a gallon of fuel, will we get a full charge? Because theoretically we should. We should get a full charge in a quarter hour, according to, uh, in a quarter tank, a, qu a quarter gallon, sorry, according to the EPA. And that's never true. But, you know, we're in charge mode and we're in sport mode. The car rides much, I want to say, uh, uh, tighter. I don't want to say rougher, but I definitely feel the road. I think you can see it in the camera. It's definitely a sportier ride. And the engine, as you can see, the tachometer's on right there. So now the engine's running. And there is an auto stop start, but that is in here somewhere. I don't see it. There's a setting for it somewhere, or it might just be in the T6 rather than the T8. I'm not sure if there's a way to disable it. Anyway, we are burning fuel to charge the car. And the thing is at three and a half kilowatts an hour, um, three and a half kilowatt hours, 
it would take an hour to get, it would take four hours or three and a half hours to get a full charge. And my thing today is how, how long can we go driving for to get a full charge? If it even does a full charge, I can see right now it's much better than zero, but we still don't have a range there for the battery. And even if I go into this menu, uh, we have it set. It's checked right there. And then the tourist thing is off. Uh, we're on gallons per hour. Let's see what else I can do. I'm going to start driving now. So, yeah, we'll just leave that the way it is. And when I get to the office, we'll see what the charge is like. I also, also forgot to mention I can drop this down one more level. And when I pull back... It goes into B mode, which is regeneration, and that should also use that uh, braking capability. And if I move this to the left or to the right, it changes the regeneration levels. So I'm here at the office now, and uh, it's 10 away, so it didn't take more than 10 minutes. And we are basically at a quarter, at a quarter uh, charge. And uh, <clears throat> that wasn't very long at all. Quarter charge in 10 minutes, uh, pretty much, relatively. But I still do not see a range there on the, uh, on the battery capacity. So I don't know what that's about. We'll, well, I guess we'll see more uh, as we go about our day. And I did something similar to this in the Mitsubishi Outlander plug-in hybrid electric. And, um, yeah. So... Uh, it is what it is. I'll catch up with you. All right, it's 10.30 in the morning, and my day's work is done. So I'm going to head uh, probably to the coffee shop or something, and we are still in charge mode. When I started the car, it went back into hybrid mode, and charge mode was disabled, so I had to turn that back on. I had to put it back into power mode. And uh, interestingly enough, you can get the Polestar optimization for this, which would mean this power would turn into Polestar optimized. And then you would have an extra 30 horsepower bump, or it would be instead of 313 for the engine, it would be 330 horsepower for the engine. In this case, we do not have Polestar, and you would know by pushing down on here, and it would say Polestar instead of power. Plus, instead of power there, it would say Polestar. So that's it for uh, this morning, this morning's commute, and this day. So uh, I'm going to keep it in charge mode. We'll see. It took about 10 minutes to get to a quarter, and I'm thinking it'll take a little longer to get to a half charge. But this should be fun. This should be fun. I'll find a, a coffee shop that I go to all the time in Richardson, and we will we'll just you know take these city streets and cruise around. And for those of you curious... The average MPGs is now 24.4. So there is an impact on fuel consumption, but think about it. You can charge overnight. You can charge at 3.5 kilowatts an hour. That's the most you can charge on this vehicle or all Volvo T8s for now. And the gas engine definitely charges it rapidly. And that's the best way to go because you can charge as you're driving which saves you time. So if I didn't have time to charge, or if there was no charger at the office, I would just be charging while I'm commuting to you know other offices or whatever I'm doing. Maybe I'm a real estate agent. Maybe I, I don't know. But basically, I can charge while I'm driving. Okay, I got my coffee, and uh, I'm at Island Coffee Roasters. This is a great place. Don't ruin it for me, all right? Um, they don't even have seating inside, so don't have to hipster this place out. It's not for you. But 23.9 average consumption, and it's 1047, so I didn't drive very far. Hold on a second. All right, so it's 1047. Uh, I didn't drive very far to get here, and look at that. I have almost, well, that looks like two-fifths, or we'll just call it one-half of a battery charge and six-mile range. And I left the house at 10 o'clock, and I headed here at like 10.30. So 20 minutes, I got a half charge, which is much faster than anything you're going to plug into. 
and I'm down to 23.9, um, and my fuel economy is, I mean, I don't really know what to make out of these two different graphs. This is, uh, miles per gallon and this is kilowatts or watts per hour, but to me, like, the Volvo is just nailing this so hard. It's doing such a good job at fully charging and driving in a hybrid mode. So now that I've charged the, or started the car, I have to put it back in charge mode. And it says engine charges the battery. It turns green. All right, we're in charge mode. The engine is on. I can hear it a little bit. I didn't even feel it turn on. We can go down here into drive mode. You'll see it defaults into hybrid, which is what I'll use right now. And if I wanted to, I can go into power or individual. Individual, by the way, you can set here. If you go into settings, you can go to my car and then individual drive mode. And here you can choose the power, the uh, display. So that would be this display here. And then you can choose your steering force, powertrain characteristics, brake characteristics, and the suspension. So I didn't realize there's a different suspension between pure and hybrid. That's a little different. And of course, you could always add an eco climate, and that's pretty much it there. I can close out of that. We'll we'll deal with that later. I got all week with this car. It's going to be a quick week, I can tell. And so far, I'm not going to do a road trip to charge it because it's charging in the city just fine. And we might charge uh, try out the park features and things like that. But for now, um, I'm going to go home and edit some video. And we will, uh, oh yeah, I got auto brake on, that's what it is. We will just keep driving this car this week. So it's 2 o'clock, and I'm still in charge mood, and, well, we're still at halfway charge. So what happens is, in power mode at least, the uh, vehicle is using, or maybe my, my foot's getting a little heavier, it's using more electricity for the driving, and it seems to be using that more often at halfway. So um, you can still see I've only used an eighth of a tank, and right now I'm burning 2.6, just 0.6 gallons per hour. So if we look at my overall for the day, I'm at 22.7. So, uh, you know, your average or your use of the um, gasoline to get a half charge, which is 7 miles of pure electric range, is pretty good. What I'm going to do is put this back into hybrid mode. Now, pure is obviously just pure EV. So we could do that later. Um, I'll do that another day. And then what I'll do is turn off charge mode. And now we're just right back in hybrid. So the engine's off, and we have a larger range of electricity before the engine kicks in. But we will see now what happens to our average fuel economy. So we'll see if that goes back up. I have to keep driving in order to do that and I don't have much time left in the day to keep driving so we will see probably later today what has happened with that I don't know why the camera's so blurry 